I just picked up all these batteries, 12 modules of them, and I am weighing them to find out how much weight I actually carried because I did bottom out my minivan. <laughs> And boy, are they heavy. I just unloaded them, drove back from Philadelphia. I'm up in Massachusetts. Tip this up, off the scale, and back down onto the scale. 163 pound, 163.8. Wow, it's a lot more than originally thought, and I definitely should not have carried all of this in my minivan. Plus me. <laughs> When I picked up the batteries from BatteryHookup.com, I met Tom and Ryan, who were both wicked cool, easy to work with, easy transaction. Thank you both very much for all the help that you gave me. If you guys would also like to purchase some of these batteries, uh, please check out the affiliate link in the description below. That would let them know that uh, you found out about them through my video, and it would just really help out the channel. Let's break down how these awesome batteries are built. First off, the dimensions. They are 23 and a quarter long, 18 and a half inches wide, and they stand nine and a half inches tall. They are originally listed at five and a half kilowatt hours, and they'll probably wind up being around four and a half kilowatt hours uh, after I get them tested for capacity, but they've been sitting a while. They are lithium iron phosphate. They're in an 8S configuration, meaning eight cells. Uh, all in series with each other. These are the posts. This is the main negative post and the main positive post. There's a big fan here that would cool the unit and what it would do is actually suck air in through the back. There's a big giant aluminum heat sink on the bottom and top. Suck the air in where it would blow past all the cells and blow out the front here. The top cover just pops off. Same with the bottom. Pull it right off, and you can actually see the big aluminum heat sink and this big strap that actually straps around all the battery cells on each side. I tipped it up on end so that I can finish taking this off, and that's the bottom. It looks identical to the top. These plastic covers are hiding all the terminals, so to take them off, just any kind of flathead screwdriver works right here and pry it pry these plastic things up and same on the other side all right and now we just pull it straight up there's actually some plastic slots that this slides in and it reveals the terminal so I'm going to go down the line and just pop all these off so that we can look at how this is arranged now you can see the plastic covers just pop right off and we're revealing all the tabs So you can actually see this is going to be cell number one located right here and the cell is going to travel all the way through the entire module. And we're seeing the positive post of that cell so the negative post is going to be on the opposite side. Cell number two then comes through the other way and is oriented opposite and these bus bars connect between them. Then we have sense leads and I think there's actually a little temperature sensor built in there because on the back side there's more traces that connect to it. So we can see all the modules together. And then this is actually the main negative, which then has a copper bus bar which travels down the back side and around to the front. There's eight cells in series. The main positive of the pack comes out at this post right here. And you can see where it comes around and ties to the first cell right at this location. Then it comes across and it ties to cell number two across the bus bar. Cell number two comes over and then right here you have the connecting bus bars to cell three. And you can see all the way to cell number eight where you have the main negative which is right here and then the main negative comes around. There are six screws that hold the front cover on and they're all just Phillips. Take the screws out. With the cover off, you can reach in and take this connecting pin off. 
And this is the back side of the cover. You have the nice big fan. It sounds like a turbojet when you take it off. It's a 24 volt fan. Inside you can see where the fan is sucking its air through the heat exchangers. Over here we have the BMS, but this BMS does not actually protect the board. It just senses temperature and voltage and then sends that through data uh, to some centralized computer. So for my application, I'm actually going to be removing these. Now, if you take this cover off, this is what the BMS looks like. I just pulled this from another one of the modules. It's pretty cool, uh, but I don't know how to write a program for it, so I'm just going to bypass this and do my own thing. But what I love about this is the size of these bus bars. I mean, you can just tell this thing was made to carry some serious amps. So I'm really looking forward to using it. So each cell has a nominal voltage of 3.2 volts. So this 8S configuration is actually perfect for 24 volt setups. If you're like me, you're going to series connect two of these to actually create a 16S module, which will give you a fantastic 48 volt setup. Pricing these at $100 per kilowatt hour, which is just a really good price for a battery like this. So if you do want to head over to batteryhookup.com and buy some of your own batteries, uh, please use the affiliate link in the description below. That would just help out the channel a lot, not cost you any extra, but help me be able to make more of these videos. So thank you all very much for watching. Bye.